Ah, my child, I'm happy that you are here. I've had an idea that I wish to present to you. Please do. I've known the Mother Cardinal for quite some time. She is a formidable woman, gifted and diplomatically skilled. I fear that your cousin might be a little defenseless when dealing with her, and would like to give him a few weapons. What do you have in mind? Diplomacy is not only a matter of formal encounters and choreographed etiquette. If we had the means to action more personal leverage, the Mother Cardinal could not manipulate your cousin. How could we ever find anything of that sort? Everyone has nasty little secrets, my child. It's our task to discover Cornelia's. Very well. Let's go and discover what the Governor would rather keep hidden from the world. Excellent. How would you like to go about this? We must search her apartments in St. Matthias. They'll be guarded, of course. But if we are discreet, that shouldn't be a problem. This is taking quite a risk. The congregation's reputation could suffer if we're caught, and my cousin's position would be weakened. I know, but keep in mind that I know the palace extremely well. And if we want to be sure to pass without being noticed, we need only dress ourselves up as servants. That would improve our chances. Well, let's do it.
all of our products up. Welcome to the best holy item. Goodbye. May the... Don't hesitate. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in his divine Ah, Your Excellency. The Enlightened must have sent you. I would like to ask a favor of you. I'm listening. As you may be aware, we suspected this island might be the one St. Lucius wrote about. Is that so? We did, but let me explain. This island was where St. Matthias lived at the end of his life, and where he founded a perfect community. Some time ago, we created a village which we called Eden, following his example. We chose this place as it seemed to be the closest to the one described in the Holy Scriptures. It is a home to a community of converted islanders, accompanied and guided in their budding faith by our theologians. As you can imagine, it is of the utmost importance to us, all the more so because we discovered some tablets there which were engraved by our founder. An extraordinary discovery that confirms your suspicion. I see you understand. Alas, these tablets were stolen, probably by the islanders who still reject our influence. I know that you are generally well accepted by the natives. That is why I was hoping that you could help us to retrieve what belongs to us. I suppose I could go to Eden and try to retrieve them. Marvelous. The leader of the community, Father Eustinius, will be able to answer your questions. May the Enlightened assist you in this holy quest, Your Excellency.
This area of the palace is forbidden to visitors. By order of the Mother Cardinal. We did not know. Please, excuse us. The basements are for servants only. Very well. We'll go back up. Don't hesitate to have a rummage around. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. Don't hesitate to have a rummage around. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in his This is a very unique place. The smell of stupor and vice reign as its masters. You're not wrong. We should search this place. Oh, for goodness sake. This room reeks of alcohol. And not just any old alcohol, if my nose does not deceive me. Cornelia always had great taste when it came to drinking. It seems that someone forgot their earring. Ugh, here is an object of more than questionable taste. A woman from a good family would never wear it. It's junk. The kind of thing a courtesan would wear. I didn't know you were an expert on the subject, Father. The subject of jewelry? No, of courtesans. We are here at the heart of human depravity. Outrageous luxury, excessively priced alcohol, obvious debauchery. Surely this is enough to incriminate the Mother Cardinal. No, my child. These things are common in certain circles, even in Teleme, unfortunately. Cornelia may well have organized these things for others. 
These parties might be of use in gaining some political faith. We must find out who is involved and learn more. The earring that we found may help us with that. We could ask at the brothel if it belongs to a prostitute. We should continue searching. Perhaps we missed something. This document is highly important. By reading it carefully, you could learn a lot. The Mother Cardinal apparently borrows large amounts of money from a moneylender. Actually, enormous sums. What's more, she does so quite regularly. How does she manage to give it all back? Hmm. And the name Candy Cane crops up several times. Quite suspicious, don't you think? This sweet person must be doing her huge favors to get these sums. I think we have everything we need. There is probably a connection between these pleasure parties and the account books. Let's ask a few questions. The moneylender is well established. He can be found near the main square. As for this candy cane, the name doesn't ring any bells to me, but the moneylender must know more about him. We can also go and gather information at the coin tavern. Perhaps the manager knows him. Can I help? Yes, actually. I have a small favor to ask. You don't look like you need money from me. I imagine that the name Candy Cane rings a bell. Obviously. All of San Mateus knows that name. Can you tell me about him? I don't know him personally. We've never been introduced, but... Rumor has it that he often hangs out in the basement at the Coin Tavern. I have been sent by the Mother Cardinal. She needs money. You know why. That's unusual. She usually comes in person. Ah, oh, well, business is business after all. What do you want? She has sent me to find out if she still owes money. And to make a little withdrawal. No, no debts to settle. Everything is in order, as always. How much does she need? Same as last time. Yes, that would be perfect. Excellent. Let her know that the usual conditions apply. Do you think that will be all right for Candy Cane? 
What do you mean for candy cane? Good Lord, are you crazy or something? I don't want to know what my clients get up to with their money. Uh, I apologize. I'm not used to all this. I thought that... You think too much. Go and see him. Sort your business out and come back to see me when you know how much she needs. Very well. Thank you very much. Can I get you anything? I'm here for something else. Can I ask you a couple of questions? If you wish. What would you like to know? Do you think that the Mother Cardinal may have been here? <laughs> Are you drunk or something? You sometimes deliver goods to your big clients. Isn't that right? Of course. The rich don't like to get drunk among mere mortals. And have you ever supplied anyone from the palace? Yes, that has happened. It suits them. And who places these orders? Well, a steward, of course. Don't you know how things work? A woman? Dressed in a long green cloak? No, the steward is more discreet. On the other hand, the person in the big green coat... The steward speaks to her sometimes. They know each other or work together. What can you tell me about a certain candy cane? Candy cane? Everyone speaks about him, or has heard of him, but no one really knows him. And what do they say about him? Here, nothing. You need to go downstairs for that sort of thing. To the games room and the brothel? Yes, that's more the kind of place where they'd talk about him. I have to go. I will leave you to your work. A feast for the eyes, ladies and gentlemen, and it's free. So, have you found what you were looking for? Let's just say that I'm gathering information. My treasures are worth their price. I promise you that you will get your money's worth. For you, I'm sure we can make a special arrangement. Father, do you want to explain to this man why we are here? Of course. We are not here for your services, but to lead an investigation. Several clients of yours have made a complaint. Precious objects disappearing after your employees' visits. People in very high places are concerned, which explains why we've been asked to take care of it. This cannot be. I... Well... Listen, come in, but please be discreet. Thank you for your cooperation. Hi. Well, here's someone new. What can I do for you, pretty face? I wanted to know who this earring belongs to. Oh, this really isn't my day. Show me, pretty face. Ah, oh. given the way it shines, it must be a piece of junk. It probably belongs to one of the girls. It's really their style. 
Well, if that's all that you're here for, I'd rather get back to the grind. There are too many of you for me alone, my little lambs. Sorry, madam, but we are here to ask other favors of you. This question might seem a little surprising, but do you know who this earring might belong to? Why? It's mine. I, I lost it when... How did you get hold of it? Are you sure you want to broach that subject here? You're right. Come with me. Well, what do you want? Why are you giving me back my earring? You know where we found it, don't you? Obviously. I realized as soon as I got back that I'd lost it. I imagine your pimp does not know that you take part in these parties. He doesn't dabble in this at all. No, do not say anything to him, I beg you. He's on my case enough as it is. Then I suggest you answer my questions. <sighs> what would you like to know? Could you tell us who you saw at the parties? Rich people, or better. They seemed very rich and important to me. But I don't know them. Do you know who organizes these parties? Not really, no. A steward pays me when I go, but I don't see anyone else, apart from the clients. You can't even give me a single name? No. The only person who sometimes speaks to this steward is a woman who is always wearing a green coat. She never takes part in the festivities, but the steward rushes over whenever she arrives. Do you think that an important person from Teleme could have partaken in these soirees? You're thinking of Mother Cardinal, aren't you? You lot really think we are a bunch of degenerates. You're hardly a shining example of virtue, my child. Just answer our questions. Sorry, Father, I don't know the Mother Cardinal, but I strongly doubt she dabbles in that. You don't think you could recognize her, and you don't think you've crossed paths. <sighs> what a testimony. Admit it. You must know more than you're letting on. It's virtually impossible not to recognize someone while being so close to these influential people. Wouldn't you agree? Well, I was able to recognize someone, once. Even with a mask on, I'm good at recognizing my clients. Please continue. I'm all ears. I don't want to implicate anyone, but he is of no real importance, and you've probably never even heard of him. It's the local moneylender. I know very well who you're referring to, my dear. But I didn't mention anything to you, huh? This stays between us. I don't even remember the subject of this conversation anymore. This woman in the green coat, could you tell me about her? She always hides her face and never joins us. Then she disappears into a little office and locks the door. I see. She is quite important then. Do you know someone who goes by the name of Candy Cane? Everyone does. He is a powerful person, so his name makes the rounds. Have you ever spotted him at these... pleasure parties? In all honesty, I wouldn't even be able to recognize him. I've heard his name before, but that's all. Thank you for your help. Be sure not to mention this to anyone. I'd lose my clients if they suspected me of speaking about them, you know.
Can I get you anything? Look who it is. I feel that once again you're not here to support my business. I am looking for a woman who comes here. She always wears a long green coat. Yes, I have seen this coat before. But I have no idea who is beneath it, if that's what you're asking. All I know is that I've seen her speaking to a regular, a steward of the palace who comes to place big orders. Always prime choice. I have to go. I will leave you to your work. Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? I am looking for someone. A woman wearing a big green coat. Yeah, I know who you mean. She's a good client. She comes in especially for the big fights and she has prime information. Do you know where I can find her? No, I don't even know her name. She wouldn't happen to be coming back to collect some winnings, would she? No, and I can't really tell you when she'll show up next. I imagine that the name Candy Cane rings a bell. Obviously, even though I would prefer it wasn't the case. He's a sort of organizer. He captures most of the beasts who fight in the arena. How is that a problem? Apparently, he's fixed a few fights. These kind of rumors aren't good for my business. If that's the case, why don't you stop him? He has friends, protectors. Without solid evidence, no one will lift a finger. And the only ones who wanted to speak of his cartel have disappeared. Do you know where I could find him? He often hangs out around the port at night, but I strongly advise you to stay away from the guy. I know how to look after myself. Thanks for the information. I must be going. Next time, then. So, how do you see things, my child? I think that the usurer is lending money to the Cardinal, and very significant sums at that. With this money, she bets on the arena fights while hiding in a big green coat. And she also gives large amounts to a certain candy cane, known for fixing fights. Not only does our dear Cornelia love betting games, but she also wouldn't think twice about cheating to win. Maybe he is just giving her advice. How can we prove anything? We can always try asking him. Who knows? Perhaps he will give us an answer. That's true, you were right. Let's come back later.
May the Enlightened bless you. Good evening. Are you the one they call Candy Cane? Who are you? Desarde, legate of the merchant congregation. A legate, no less. I imagine in these cases, the one accompanying you is the famous Petrus. You seem to be very well informed. Therefore, you might be able to answer my question. What do you know about a woman in a green coat? Why would I tell you? We know that you have business with this woman and that she is actually the Mother Cardinal. How did you... You would be better off forgetting that. That's not exactly the response I'd imagined. But nevertheless, seems rather eloquent. I told you to forget about it, or you'll soon run into trouble. Legate or no legate. Come on. It was just an innocent little conversation. Goodbye, Mr. Kane. Bye. And Godspeed. We have enough information. Really? Is the fact that she bets on fights that are potentially fixed enough for you? It's already a huge scandal. Let me just think about it for a little while. I will find a way of putting this information to good use. I have faith in you, Father.